Hi everyone, this is Joseph from GBS and today we're going to learn how to make a path animation in Rhinoceros and render it in B-Ray. Let's begin. First, we're going to open B-Ray Assess Editor, then expand Assess Editor by clicking on the left side. Select the wood object by going on Layers, right click on Layer 1 and click Select Object. Now open Materials to go to Wood Materials and for this object we're going to use Plywood. Repeat the same steps to add material to the screws. Great, now we're going to create a path in dimension. We're going to turn on the layers where I have the lines already created for the path. Now let's go to render tools, click the option animation setup, and we're going to click the path in dimension. Select the lines we have created for our path and a window will pop up and let's set up our animation. For this case, we're going to only use 100 frames. File type, we're going to select JPEG, capture method, select render viewport. For viewport, select the perspective, and name your animation. Let's check the animation, how it looks. Click on the option preview animation. Cool. Now let's go back to the RSS editor. To render options, we're going to turn off the option progressive. For quality, we're going to drag it to high plus and turn on the denoiser option. Open camera option and change the exposure values to eight. Open render output option for image width height. We're going to choose 800 by 450 aspect ratio 16.9 widescreen. Turn on the option to say image and make sure you're saving the path where you will remember where to find your files because all your images will be saved in the path you choose. File type JPEG. Turn on the option animation and for this option just make sure your animation source is Rhino and time segment our entire animation. Open environment option, uncheck background option and change the color of the background to white. Check the option GI and change the color to white and uncheck. We're going to repeat the same steps for options reflection and refraction. Great! Now we're ready to render our animation. You will have a sequence of images and from there you can make a cool animation using any software you prefer. That's all for today everyone. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, leave a like, Comment below if you have any questions, create, inspire, and I hope everyone has a great day. Later.